TikTok is full of stylish women, but few have earned the same reputation as one upon Posia Non or Duong. She was recently labeled as fashionista in a video presentation for the 2011 Bangkok International Fashion Week. Most people recognize her as the glamorous lady who's seen at celebrity events and parties. Some know her as a designer, but Duong has so much more on her plate. So let's find out how she became so trendy and what else she's been up to. I have a passion about fashion since I was very young. Um, my mom also loved to dress up, also my grandmom. And she also had red lips like me. Ooh. And she, she always bought um, Vogue, Vogue British to me since I was young. So that's the start um, about my passion about fashion. I love to read all the fashion articles and I love to dress, to dress up. And yeah, after that I work, everything about my work is about fashion. Oh, and I heard that in your studies was also about fashion. Yes. Right I, after you graduated Jula Longkorn University, yeah. you went straight to Italy, is that right? Yes, yes. First I studied um, Italian major at Faculty of Arts, Jula Longkorn. And then I continued my master in Milan, the course called Fashion Promotion at Istituto Marangoni. And fashion promotion is about um, how to promote the brand, how to be a um, fashion editor, you organize a fashion show, you look after the budget of the campaign. So I quite enjoy a lot. So uh, why did you choose Italy? Why not uh, France or America? Because um, I love this country. I love Italian art, architectural movement, and also I love the life, lifestyle and, and Italian fashion brand like Prada, Mani. I love that style. I also, that, um, before I studied at Chula Lungkorn, as you know, no? Italian yes. major. So I don't want to lose my language too. Oh. So I tried to search where in Milan they have um, fashion cars in Italy and in Italy, Milan. I still can use my, my language, Italian language. So yeah, this is, that's why I continue to study Milan at Marangoni. Here's some more interesting facts about our celebrity. Duong was the runner-up in the 2001 Miss Thailand World Contest when she was a third-year student at Chulalongkorn University. After graduation, she formed a partnership with Instituto Maranguni and became director of Maranguni Information Center in Thailand. And when she came back to Bangkok, she worked as PR and marketing manager of Emilio Pucci and Christian Lacroix from 2004 to 2006. So being a fashionista at the same time still working, pursuing your career in the fashion industry, could you please share some tips on how to be fashionable to our viewers, please? Like, you um, are one of Thailand's top fashionistas right Actually, now, I, don't I, don't, I don't want to describe <laughs> me as a fashionista. I, I, I just love and enjoy to dress, to dress. And I just, I, you have to feel comfortable with yourself. I think the trend comes and goes. But um, the style, the personal style always remains with you mm, all your life. And just choose, um, the style or outfits that, that match your character. So what would you say, what's your style? What's your character? <laughs> okay. My style is more um, mixed with masculine. Um, in, in French, we call it low smoking look. Low smoking? Low smoking. <laughs> like um, Yves Saint Laurent style. Like, it's like um, tearing, yes. like pencil skirt or jacket or suit. It's, I always have this kind of outfit. Oh, <laughs> and your signature is your red lips. How, how long have you decided to have red lips? This was your character since I saw you in um, all the like, celebrity events. I think the first um, impression of my red, red lips come from my mom. She always wearing red lips every time I met her. Red lips with red, um, red nails. So when I was young, I tried to put lead lips on my mouth, but you know, when, when I'm too young with lead lips, it didn't match very well. And you so, didn't know how to put it correctly yeah, yet. <laughs> it's too much political. So when I go study fashion Milan, master program, um, I kind of grown up and I study fashion, I love to dress, to dress up. So I put my, on my lead, lead lips and it, it's matched so well. So from that day to this day, almost 10 years. Duong admits she's a bit of a shopaholic and goes shopping every week. 
but she also thinks a great deal about mixing and matching what she's already got in her wardrobe. Kundonka, being a shopaholic, could you please share some tips on what does a girl need to have in their closet? And as a fashion a designer and fashionista, could you please share us some tips, please? I think every, every working woman or all the girls should invest on their nice tearing jacket. I think you can use it so often, you can mix the style, like you can wear like, like me with jeans, with the, mix with waist, mm -hmm. or maybe you can use with the dress to make it more professional look, but in a, in a comfortable way. So jacket is a must have for everyone. I well, this, this is great because some girls wear the jacket and then they go out for parties, they just take the jacket out. Yes, so it's right. different look between having jacket and or not. Mm. So how many jackets do you have? <laughs> oh, so many. So I, I, I never count, maybe, I don't know, 20, 30, I'm not mm. sure. Some, um, um, I have so many. It depends on the season as well, right? Sometimes when you go abroad traveling, you need like uh, more thicker jackets, is that right? Yes, I have many trench coat too. Trench coat like, um, like Parisian style. does your boyfriend like, like husband? Like? Oh, <laughs> my husband, um, he's not metrosexual, he's, a, he's very indie, he, he know what he wants, he loves navy blue, black um, and grey. He's not, um, how do you say, not, not, not dressed a lot like me, but mm. he know what he wants and I, I prefer him like that. Having your own fashion line is a stuff of dreams, and in 2009, Duong creates a kids' clothing brand, Rhapsody, with cool designer outfits for boys and girls from six months to six years old. Why did you uh, choose to design kids' clothes first? Why not go into ladies' clothes? Please? The idea came up from when I studied Milan in Italy. Um, people care a lot. The parents care a lot how, how to dress their children. Mm. They have walk and beanie, which means walk kids. So at that, that moment, I studied Milan. I always love to look how parents dress up their, their children. So it's like my dream to have my own, my own, my own product, my own life. Yes, so of I, course. It's going to be fun to dress up your children. Yeah. And now because fashion is everywhere, nowadays kids are even sometimes even more fashionable than adults. Yes, yes. <laughs> so our, the style of Rhapsody is very fashionable kits. I use um, leopard prints, polka dot stripe, but used with high quality fabric just for kids. Oh, that's the latest trends. Yes. <laughs> so you follow the latest trends with the clothes design. Yes, yes. Mm. I use very bold color bold print but use with, with very light cotton for kids. So are you planning to have the ladies clothes like for the mothers? So when they walk with their children, they look alike or they uh, have their maybe, maybe, similar style? Maybe in the future because <laughs> I, now I just launched a like Hora Rhapsody Kutu, it's more evening, evening dress. So sometimes mommy can, can ask me and customize the dress together with, with her kids. Apart from the kids' clothes that you have, I also knew that you designed beautiful bags for the ladies, is that right? Yes, um, I have my own bag line too, it's called Kush Kush. Kush Kush means red in French. It's inspired from my passion in lips, that's why it's called Kush oh. Kush. And, and it's inspired from um, graphic line, architectural buildings in Milan and Paris. And also, sometimes I snap the photos from the cool fashion editors that I've met in Milan and Paris. So everything is merged into my idea and research and become rouge rouge. So this is like inspired from Milan? Yeah, Most Milan and Paris, yes. That's oh, beautiful. So does it, this bags uh, go along with what type of clothes? Like, what type of personality girl um, ladies would use their beautiful bags? Like the this. customers of Rouge Rouge is fashionista who know what they want. They have their own unique style and also for a professional like working women mm. who want to have nice design bag with high quality leather. I imported the leather from Italy with nice price. They can use from day, day meeting into their party in the evening. I have to tell you like Italian calf or lambskin is the best in the world. Oh, you're using lambskin. Calf or lamb is the best in the world and I want to use the best quality product. 
for Thai markets and with the approachable price with Thai craft because I have a factory in Thailand. Most people know Duong Wanapon Posianon as a very fashionable designer, but Duong plays another important role few are aware of. Duong describes it as fashion promotion and education. Her first partnership with a design institute is with Marangani. I studied master in Milan, mm -hmm. fashion promotion, and at that time, Thai, Bangkok Fashion City um, went to Milan to promote Thai fashion and also Thai Airways just promote their first direct flight, Milan Bangkok. So I, I, I got chosen to be the MC and during the last year of my, my master program. So the owner of, the, of Marangoni also was invited to oh. that event and at that time I was I was um, presenting my final project year and he asked me do you want to be my partner to be representative of the fashion school in Thailand. So from now on I from that from then to now I worked I've been working with Maragoni seven years already. So if anyone would like to further their uh, studies as uh, in fashion school in Milan they can contact you is that yes, right? Yes. <laughs> Actually Maragoni has three campus. Mm. We have in Milan, London and Paris. I look after all three campus. I give advices to to Thai students who want to study fashion business, fashion design, fashion styling. We have so many calls. Yes, and lastly, I would like to ask, like, what's your next step in your career path, please? Like, further your fashion line or pursue your career in more in the fashion business? For this year, I have um, I have been chosen from Milan from one famous design school called Domus Academy to be like academic advisor and look all after the. Um, PR and marketing pro big project. So this year I plan to give the scholarships to wow. talented design studios too. I will collaborate with Wallpaper Magazine Thailand. It seems there's no stopping this lady.